Hey everybody and welcome back to more Kickstarter crap. Last time we took a look at Potato Salad and all the clones that it spawned. This time we're going to take a look at all the clones that Million Dollar Website has spawned. And we're going to start off with a billion pixels. I'm Ryan Wake and I'm Matt Linnell. And we are here to talk to you about one of the biggest technological undertakings of our time. We are wanting to build a billion dollar pixel display and we want you to be a part of it. That's right. The website is billiondollarpixels.com. You should come check it out. First, we're going to sell each and every one of one billion pixels that will be visible on the site. Now, we've got those listed on the side, which is over here or over here. Uh, I don't know, we're making this video. Over here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, on the site and they're for sale in chunks and you'll see different rewards depending on how many pixels you'd like to buy but that doesn't end there man what a cool new hip way to record a pitch video you have a really shaky camera you walk toward it and uh, you have all sorts of wind freaking blowing in the microphone that's some good high quality shit especially when you're asking for a billion dollars Ryan. Once we have gotten the backing for this project, we will erect a billion dollar display in Times Square, New York. For the first month, we are dedicating the space of that display to you as a backer. And there are various options under the rewards. Just to show you how big that display will be, we're going to run across the street here and give you a, a little look -see. is nearly the size of 200 MacBook Pro screens. You heard it. Billion pixel display. We want you to be a part of it. Go to www.billiondollarpixels.com. Please go to billiondollarpixels.com today and find out that it's extremely lackluster and there really isn't much there and there's pretty much never going to be anything there because it's a shitty idea, and we're shitheads. For those of you who are maybe a little bit confused, let me explain some things. This Kickstarter project exists because of this website called MillionDollarHomePage.com, and this webpage was made uh, by a student who was hoping to raise enough money to pay for his college tuition. This was back in 2005. I think it was finished in around 2012. All of the uh, ad space was eventually sold. So these guys obviously just want to make a billion dollars the easiest way possible. And the easiest way possible is by selling ad space at a premium price. You know, a block, a block of pixels for $100. Oh, that's so affordable and it makes so much sense for me to spend my fucking money on that. Yeah, it, it might be a little bit uh, more novelty if you have a million pixels because then your logo isn't drowned out by the display that's 40,000 iPads long. Like, yeah, no shit. No shit, it's 40,000 iPads long, it's a billion pixels. And that just means ad space is less important if you're selling that many pixels. What can we say? We love pixels. Uh, well, you can't say anything because you, you have nothing to say. Uh, you can't say, I have been working on this website for the past 10 years because you haven't. Uh, you can't say that this is an original idea because it's not. You can't say that uh, you have any special skills that allow you to do this uh, better than anyone else because you don't. And you, uh, you certainly can't say that it's original because this shit is fucking tired. So to keep this whole thing from becoming completely convoluted, let me make something clear. The funding goal of $100 million is just for the display in Times Square. That is going to be a $100 million display. Imagine a giant computer monitor that you pay $100 million for. That's what they're going to put in Times Square. And then they have to fill that shit up with a billion dollars in ad space. They have to fill that whole fucking thing with a billion dollars in ad space. Is this starting to sound really fucking stupid? If it's not, it should. Now, if the last project wasn't stupid enough, we now have the million dollar soccer flag. Hi, my name is Marwan Besbes. I'm the creator and the founder of the Million Dollar Soccer Flag. Um, it's an idea that I created um, to live uh, a mark, to be part of soccer history. An idea that I had. Well, 
it's kind of an idea that you had. It's more so an idea that someone else had that you kind of put your own shitty twist on. Also, it's a project uh, that I want to show the uh, power of the, uh, the group. It's not just a company that they created for the money. He wants to show the power of the group. Well, you don't need to show the power of the group. It's already been done. It's been done by Million Dollar Homepage. It's been done by Potato Salad Kickstarter Project. You don't need to do it. You don't need to show the power of the group. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the power of the group. Yeah, if, if, if 20 people lift up an SUV, they did it because they're in a group of 20 people. They didn't do it because fucking magic. We already know what the power of the group is. You don't need to show us what the power of the group is, you fucking idiot. I want to give the chance to everybody to write his name on soccer history and um, to write anything they want on this flag. No. No, this isn't soccer history. This is how can I take people's money history. This is potato salad history. Also, I would like to leave a, a lesson, a small lesson for anybody who have a dream that uh, all what he needs is a bit of creativity and a lot of courage. So um, I have no doubt uh, that I'm going to succeed. Uh, it's just a matter of time. And uh, like I said, I hope you like the idea and I hope you like the concept and I hope it will be inspiration for a lot of people and a lot of uh, hopes. All right, bye-bye. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I'm not sure that there is a flag representing all of soccer. There's no flag with a soccer ball in it showing... Yes, we are soccer. We are football. Either that doesn't fucking exist. So when he says flag, he just means either the flag of his fucking home country of Brazil or some other fucking random ass place or just a blank white flag, a white flag. Both projects openly admit to copying the million dollar homepage. This one says, a friend of mine told me about the guy from the UK who sold one million pixel for one dollar each to pay for his university. So there you have it. He knows that he's copying fucking million dollar homepage. He doesn't give a shit if he's going to get in that money. Yeah, I don't care. I, ne next thing to do is, is a million dollar uh, iDubs wall. Hey guys, fund my Kickstarter project. I'll write, write your name in Sharpie on my wall for $100 a piece. That's actually more affordable than this shit because he's doing $100 a piece for a digit. I'd at least be giving you $100 a piece for, per name. The other day I was told by someone that I'm way too critical on all these Kickstarter projects and that I have no idea what it takes to actually create something. And I'm so out of touch because you just I just make fun of so many Kickstarter projects and it actually takes a lot of money and hard work to create crap. And you know what? I gotta say, they're right. Introducing my newest Kickstarter project, The Million Dollar AIDS Quilt. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Kickstarter Crap, covering million-dollar soccer flag and billion-pixel display. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, TV, and remember to tune in next time when I magnify my moronicism. When I magnify my moronicism, moronicism, I think I just magnified my moronicism by saying that, put a magnifying glass over my mouth, then you'd really see all the fucking maggots that are made of my teeth. There was a, there was a, a movie, Spawn, I remember Spawn, that was one of the most heinous parts of uh, Spawn, the movie, the live action movie, there might be a couple but uh, I think this is a 90s one or early 2000s one where uh, you got this fucking short, st st stocky guy. He's, he looks like Beetlejuice but short and fat. Short, fat, midget Beetlejuice. And his teeth were like comprised of maggots when he opened his mouth. That shit, that was pretty traumatizing when I was young. That was heinous. Maggot mouth. I should revisit that. It might not be as bad as I'm imagining. <laughs>